How's it going guys? Today we're going to be talking about these pictures here that I took some time ago for a sports fashion magazine. And uh, I'm going to tell you step by step how this job was done. And also I'm going to tell you how much you can make as a fashion photographer. So let's suppose that you got a phone call from a magazine fashion editor out there asking your availability to shoot on a specific day there. So you check your schedule, you're good to go, and then the editor is going to give you a few details about the shooting. First of all, they're going to tell you what the theme is, right? So in our case here was jogging wear. Secondly, the editor is going to tell you whether they want the pictures taken on location, studio or both in our case here was only location and the editor was clear about something they want some kind of urban images they don't want pictures taken on the park they don't want pictures taken on the beaches and they, they don't want props too like i asked you know, how about bicycles and skateboards or you know stuff like that they said no only jogging cool so we set up a meeting and then i went to see the editor but just before i went to see the editor as I knew that the pictures were going to be taken on location, I went around town doing a little bit of location scouting, you know, looking for a nice avenue and nice buildings or nice walls, something that, you know, resembles urban spaces, right? So I took a few pictures with my phone and boom, went to see the editor. At the meeting, the editor showed me a layout of how the pictures were supposed to be shown in the magazines. A layout looks briefly something like this the editor is going to show you something like that like a two pages here two pages here and two pages here right so they're going to tell you how many models there is going to be in each page right say it's going to be one model here and they might tell you that next page there's going to be four pictures here right and in each picture the number of models that they want to have like one model here two here and two again here and another one here and maybe they want this picture to be taken landscape mode like something like that so a model is here and another one is a bit far away back and another one is here somewhere you know what i mean and another one is here so it's a spread right and then they want a probably a headshot here and uh, two more models here right that's basically how a layout looks like so when you go to the meeting that's what they're gonna show you in our case here, the editor showed me this. Six pages, right? In each page, you're gonna have just one model, right? And the, the editor asked me to leave some room on the, say, on the top left of the picture for something that we call windows. Let's put it here. So what, has, what is it for? You might have a close up of say a pocket with a zipper or something there you know what i mean you're gonna have a close-up of this thing here right here apart from close-up what you can have also is text right there might be some titles here or titles there or titles here or a box here and a window here and another title across and another title maybe here so the editor is going to tell you briefly how the design of the page is going to be done so you're going to have to keep it in mind when you're taking the pictures yeah so you know that you're going to have to leave some room up on the top left of the picture for that window there right i know that the thing is jogging wear i know there's going to be just one model and i know that we're going to shoot six different pictures and i go like right what does a jogger do they jog right but like six pictures of the guy jogging i don't think it's gonna look interesting yeah and they're like i have jogged myself quite a few times i'm not a fan of it but i like what do you do before jogging like you stretch right you go like yeah, you stretch a little bit and then you drink water and then you jog and then you take a break then you do your 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 shoes laces yeah and uh, you get kind of prepared to go to jog is that what people do yeah what if you have like a picture of the guy say stretching then another one jogging then another one is like like doing his shoes laces 
and uh, then jogging again and then the other one is like as if he has just finished jogging he's like drinking water and uh, again jogging again so three pictures of the guy running and three pictures of the guy like stretching doing the, the shoes lace drinking water good girl right yeah and the editor was like good so let's do it right then we're gonna go through the pictures i took of different locations and then like when i took the pictures on location i already had something in mind right i was like well, what if a guy is here is like pretending that he's doing this and here he's doing that and you know i had a few things in mind so when i met the editor when i showed the pictures and we taken with my phone i was like what if we shoot at this spot here with the guy running across and how about this spot here the guy running towards the camera and how about this spot here like he's doing his shoes lace as if he's just leaving his home you know and ready to go for a job and how about this spot here which is more simple like the guy is just drinking water and taking a break you know and then i was trying like to persuade the editor with my ideas and sometimes the editors they have some ideas of their own they want like let's do like this you know what I mean? Then I'm like, but you have your ideas too, right? So in this case, why don't you shoot both? You know what I mean? Shoot what the editor has in mind and shoot what you have in mind, right? So the editor is going to have both pictures in front of them and what if they like yours better than theirs? And sometimes opposite, they like theirs better than yours. So we have to sometimes take two different variations of the same picture so the, the editor has, there has a choice, right? Right, let's talk about the jogging pictures, right? This picture here, the guy is running across. Kind of easy, right? So you just set your camera there, you know what I mean? Like make it nice, nice composition, the frames right there. And then the guy is gonna, is gonna have to run across, right? And then I have to leave a space up left or bottom left of the picture for the window, right? So I have to know that this guy, when he hits this point here, this when I'm gonna shoot. So what did I do? I put two marks on the ground and I told the guy, run, it was like long steps. When you land with your foot right there, I take the picture, yeah? Got it? Got it, so do it. Man, this guy did it over and over and over and over again. He never hit the goddamn spot there. I was like, man, can you come over here? Have a look at this thing here, right? You have to step right here, Jack. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Right, let's go back and do it again, Jack. So he goes, zoom, boom, sharp. That was good. I got it right there, right? So room for this, for the windows there. All good, this shot's excellent. Right, the next two shots, the guy was gonna be running towards the camera, right? And I was like, hmm, running towards the camera and I have to leave room for the windows and for the boxes and for the titles. I said, fucking hell. So I would have to run backwards, yeah? And run backwards, like I want the guy to be jogging, not just like, boo, boo, boo. I want the guy to give a feeling that he's really jogging. So speed, right? And I couldn't match his speed running backwards with a camera in my hand, worried about leaving a room there for the windows and for the boxes and for the titles. Like, oh man, how am I gonna do it? Boom, a wheelchair, right? Pretty good idea, man. <laughs> it's like we rented this $20 a day wheelchair. My assistant's pulling back, right? <laughs> and I'm like sitting there with the camera, lock it, boom. The guy is right there where I wanted him to be. So I'm not shaking, so it's okay. I can lock on the guy. And then I can actually even tell him what I want him to do. Look left, look right, breathe like this, breathe like that, I can go, you know, like, to give the feel that the guy is really jogging, the speed, boom, boom, my sister's like, wow! It's like, yeah, man, got you right there. Pow, 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 man. Perfect, right? And uh, for that shot, man, for this specific shot, I want to shoot right in the middle of the street. You know what I mean? Like shooting a little bit from below with a wide angle, with all these buildings there, it would look great, right? But then like the editor was like, oh, maybe it's not so good idea because the police is going to show up and then we're going to all be arrested and get 15 years for this. And it's like, oh man, all right, let's change the plans. Then I found this, I already knew the place, yeah? I found this, this open ground there with a very few people in there. Then, all right, let's do it here then. And that was much more comfortable, so comfortable, so good and so easy that I decided to do something different. <laughs> 
Oh man, sometimes I, I have some weird ideas, but hey, like when you're shooting on there, man, like if you have an idea, just do it, you know, and uh, if it doesn't work, at least you have fun, the editors are gonna see that at least it was an effort, yeah? So I go upside down the chair to shoot from below, you know, like, wah! <laughs> man, I had to, like, it was hard to get back to my sitting position. And uh, by the end of the story, they didn't use the pictures because the, uh, the guys, the legs looks too long. It's like, Whoo! the guy looks like a spaghetti. No, didn't work, right? So forget about the one. But the other shot was okay. You know what I mean? Like the guy is nice, he's breathing and looks cool. I like that shot a lot. The wheelchair worked, worked pretty good for that one. Then the other shot, right? So we had this open ground again, and uh, the buildings are down there, the blue sky, and the guy again is like, Phew. and this time like, he, he, he didn't even have his sneakers. He was like, he's like uh, wearing some kind of sandals, yeah? And then I was even directing him a bit more. So he squint a little bit, you know what I mean? Give it that James Dean look there, like, oh, you know, and with a bit of wrinkles on the forehead, and boom, 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 and the guy was like, cool, just breathing. It was easy, man. No, no, not easy, yeah? but interesting. Like in this case here, I was shooting with a between 28 and 35 mil, somewhere around there. And the pictures, like the guys, you see that I'm very close to him. Yeah? He's like filling up the frames. Like it looks pretty good. It's like almost bleeding out of the magazine. I thought it was a very nice shot, right? But and then for the opening page, the stretching one there. So I found I found this walkway there nice perspective there showing the plants in the back and stuff go easy just go there and stretch but i, I made another variation i'm yeah? like standing almost in the middle of the street man and the cars are zooming behind me like just a few feet away i was kind of scared but uh, well that's the job right so you guys just stretch stretch yourself out in a little bit yeah? but by the end of the story the the other one taking the walkway was more interesting this one here he seems to be leaving his house going somewhere so do your shoes man do the laces yeah like as if preparing to go jogging somewhere and uh, yeah and finally this one here is the very simple taking a little bit from above ahead the camera locking on tripod because like there were a few things out there that he didn't want to see and shooting from above from that high like it wouldn't work without a tripod. I don't like to erase this stuff on the Photoshop too. And uh, yeah, it was simple. Just stick our muscles out there like, I drink water now. <laughs> Pretend to be a super macho guy. <laughs> oh my God, what a laugh it was. Have a look at the video, man. The video is pretty cool. So you can see how the atmosphere was like during the shooting, right? Check this out.
知らないで怖い<笑><笑>ブリコーヤ、We had a great time and we started at 7 o'clock in the morning by 1 or 2 p.m. We're done and then drinking beer, eats, yeah, get all those calories that we spent during the shooting back because I like my calories, yeah. So、uh, you should do it too, man. Like,、uh, why, why don't you rent a, a wheelchair out there? Yeah, and get a friend to, to put you back. Get another friend who likes jogging to run towards the camera and, you know, like make some funny things there. And maybe you get some nice pictures together. Who knows, man? Why don't you go and show it to a magazine out there? And、uh, what if they call you for a job? Hey, man, we want you to shoot something just like what you did there. Hey man, you have nothing to lose, right? Just do your story there. You know what I mean? You have a nice camera, haven't you? You have the friends, haven't you? Just rent a wheelchair, right? And、uh, $20 a day, man, it's nothing, yeah? Right, so now let's go to the point that I guess everyone wants to know, yeah? How much do they pay you to do their job, right? They pay you by the page. Different publishers, they have different prices, yeah? And the price ranges between $180 up to $250 per page, right? Let's make an average of $200 per page. In our case here, we have tum, 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 six pages, $1,200. Plus the Photoshop retouching. So, so again, we have like different publishers, they pay differently. But the average, say, is around $50 per page. So six pages, in my mathematics here, makes $300 for retouching. $1,200 for the shooting itself, that makes $1,500. Then what? Printing and stuff like that, right? You probably have to print a few pictures and send the pictures along with a CD with the data in there. So, why you have to send the, the prints along? Because everyone has got a different monitor, right? And、uh, it means that different monitors have different colors, right? So, you have to, to print your stuff. As close as possible to what the data looks like, right? So, that kind of blue is that kind of blue. That kind of red is as close as possible. So, you have to make sure that your printer and your monitor are well calibrated, yeah? So, you give this data to the guy who's gonna print the magazine. Of course, he has got a different monitor there. Might be or might not be calibrated, we don't know. But he's gonna take the print as a reference. So, once he's there doing the test to see how the, the color are gonna look like, they can compare to your reference and then they say, oh yeah, this is good. And then, boom, the magazine is gonna go on printing. Right? So, when I said that's $200、uh, per page, it is per page. It doesn't matter how many pictures you have in a page, right? You can have four pictures per page. You can have 10 pictures per page. I don't know, man, what kind of magazine you're gonna shoot for, right? What if you have like three double pages, right? So it means that you have three cuts, right? That's great. You're gonna shoot three cuts in three hours and make $1,200, man. <laughs> That's great, man. Fuck, I just love this kind of job, man. You got 20 of these jobs a month and you're gonna be all right. I have to say also that some of these top photographers out there, like Mario Testino and guys like that, they do have their own designers. There is no such a thing like page thing. They are hired to do a job, and the, the magazine want their style on the job. So, in this case here, they charge whatever they like. Of course, if they charge a lot, the magazine is gonna call somebody else. They have to be within the market, yeah? But these guys, they make a lot of money, right? And as I said, they have their own designers. The magazine is gonna give them like a bunch of different clothes to shoot, and then they're gonna pick the location that they like. All right, let's go and shoot in Tahiti or whatever you like. You know what I mean? Just go there and shoot, and、uh, get these super top models that are not cheap at all. So the photographer is not cheap, the the model is not cheap, the stylist is not cheap, the hair makeup artist is not cheap. Everyone is like big time. You know what I mean? They all have their names already in the market. They've been there for ages, like. They are the ones. In our case here, the editor showed me the layout of the magazine, right? They already had something in mind. They probably had a meeting already with their graphic designer, so they like, let's display the pictures like this. 
but in the case of Mario Testini and his other top guys, they decide whether the pitcher is gonna be taking landscape mode, so it's gonna be a double page, it's gonna be a single page, it's gonna be like this, this, this. They decide whether they wanna go do it in studio location. They have like the final word, man. These guys are doing great, you know, and probably one job that they make out there is, is the equivalent for me to do 20 jobs like this one here per month in Japan. Well, only eventually I will get there. You why? <laughs> I hope so. But if not, it's okay too. Just keep doing your thing. And eventually, uh, if you do it with passion and love, uh, eventually somebody is gonna call you to do an even better job because your name is gonna be out there, right? And people who are into fashion business, they're gonna see the credit. Who took this picture? They're gonna see your name there. They might call the magazine asking for their telephone number or maybe even Google it. Maybe you have a website out there with your pictures and stuff and they can find you. It has happened to me before and I was surprised to get phone calls from magazines from Europe and even advertising agencies and stuff asking me to do some kind of jobs that I was like, wow, Jack, that's so good. <laughs> yeah, of course I want to do this, right? Whoa, yeah, 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 that's great, man. So just do it with passion, love, don't give up, keep looking for new things you know what i mean have fun for me the, the photographer is, is pretty much like a conductor of the orchestra you know what i mean it's the guy who who's music, making the music flow and everyone's looking at you the model is looking at you the hair makeup artist is looking at you the editor is looking at you everyone's looking at you you are the guy who's like if you have a good vibe everyone's gonna feel good and then everyone will even recommend you like i have been introduced to a job by a hair makeup artist he had a great time working with me he went down there hey, i just met this photographer out there that's pretty cool we should work with him blah 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 and then i got a phone call from this magazine right and uh, it's a word of mouth man Vroom! very soon you're gonna be getting calls and calls and calls and you're gonna find yourself busier busier and busier right jack yeah Right, let me show you the preview of the video gonna be uploaded here next week and uh, yeah have a look Pow! Yeah, man, don't miss it, yeah? It's gonna be cool. Right, if you have already subscribed to this channel, I really appreciate it, man. Like, it motivates me a lot when I see the comments there. It's like, hey, blah, blah, blah. It's like, cool. I try my best to reply to every single comment out there. And it makes me feel good. And if you have not subscribed yet, man, fuck yeah, man, just do it. Yeah, I'm gonna be around. I cannot post every day. I wish I could because I don't have much time. Eh? But hey, I try my best to post at least once a week. Right? So I hope to see you next week then. And then, it was nice to have you here. GoPro. Switch off. <laughs>